Tennis elbow is a very common disorder. It's typically a painful disorder, the lateral aspect of the elbow or at this bump of bone. The problem really is a tendon inflammation where all these muscles attach to the tendon and you'll notice pain at the elbow and usually radiate down into the hand or forearm. The causes of tennis elbow include repetitive gripping or lifting and putting a lot of stress through these muscles as they attach to that bump of bone. A lot of times we'll do something new or have a new activity or just do a lot of repetitive lifting or gripping and that will create an inflammatory response or even a small tear in this area which creates the pain. The treatment options for tennis elbow or lateral epicondylitis are typically activity modification including not keeping your elbow straight and palm down while you lift. That puts a tremendous amount of stress or strain through these muscles. So we have to make a conscious effort to keep our elbows bent and lift with our palms up and that'll take a lot of the stress off of here. Other simple things to do include a stretching program where you stretch the muscles in both directions as well as massaging the muscles to keep them out to length so there's less tension on the area that needs to heal. Other things that can be done are straps. Most people have seen other people walk around with straps with like that little bubble on their forearm. And that, that strap will decrease the amount of tension that goes through the area that needs to heal. We can provide patients with injections. I don't like to do that very often because the injection actually can prolong the healing time. It'll absolutely make it feel better for a short period of time, but there's no guarantee that it will completely relieve the symptoms. If it does come to surgery, surgery is a successful option. It's an outpatient procedure where we make a curved incision on the elbow, go down to the section of tendon that has not healed, and really what we do is remove that unhealthy section of tendon and then suture the healthy tendon on top. You go home with a removable splint, it's an outpatient procedure, and then after about four weeks you're working in therapy on range of motion and then progress to strengthening. If you are experiencing any of these symptoms and are concerned about this, please contact your medical provider for further care.